Okay, so today we're going to show you how to make a projectile launcher. This uh, launcher was originally designed by Dave Bergen's class in uh, High Tech High in San Diego. He's an engineering teacher there and was a mentor of mine when I worked there. So there are a number of different parts on this. We're going to talk about each of them. This is, uh, it's made out of three pieces of wood. There's two one foot square pieces that are three quarters of an inch thick. Those are three quarter inch oak veneer plywood. We also have another piece here that's a five inch oak veneer plywood piece, um, also three, three quarter inch thick. And so let's talk about this first. This piece has a, a bunch of different holes. They're set at 10 degree increments along this arc. And there's a 5 16 bolt that you can pull in and out and slide to change the angle of the launcher here. Uh, the, there's another piece right here. This is a piece of PVC. It's two inch PVC. It's uh, screwed onto this extruded aluminum piece. This is three quarter inch extruded aluminum. And it's connected with a uh, eight thirty seconds by one half by one and a half inch uh, machine screw. And then if you look over here, we have a stop. That's a five sixteenths bolt. And that, that causes the, the bar to stop so that the ping pong ball is released. We have a pivot point that's also a 5 16 bolt and those are two inch long bolts and uh, the piece of aluminum here this is extruded three quarter inch square tubular aluminum and it's 11 inches long and then we have a eye screw here that's a 5 30 seconds eye screw that connects our spring the spring is a uh, 8 30 or sorry is a uh, 15 30 seconds three inch spring and then we have a, another 5 16 bolt, a nut, and we've countersunk a hole so the nut sits below the surface. Now let's take a look on the inside here. We've uh, also created some holes. So we have a 5 8 inch center hole and a, uh, and a 1 inch hole. And the 1 inch hole goes down about an eighth of an inch. The 5 8 inch hole goes down about a half an inch. And that allows the nuts and washers on the back side of these bolts to sit inside the bottom piece and for the two pieces of wood to sit flush which allows for like zero degree angle launches and things uh, we also have two and a half inch hinges here in the back and so that's pretty much the launcher there well let's go ahead and get started so this is our launcher and uh, it's the original design we've got the angle adjustment mechanism here you pull it back and you can launch it uh, so that's basically how it works. You can pull the pin out, drop it down, and have it flat. So you're going to need a saw to cut the wood. It's going to uh, a circular saw will work great, like this one. A drill to put some holes in it. You can also need a square, a tri square like this works. You can also use a rafter square, and something to determine angles. A compass. A file is important. You're also going to need a uh, wrench and uh, a pliers, hacksaw, and some spade bits and spiral drill bits. So we've got our three quarter inch piece of oak veneer plywood here and uh, we've got all our parts laid out so our pvc and our different uh, sorted washers and nuts and uh, you can see that we also have our uh, our different bolts and springs there as well and our piece of uh, extruded aluminum and so we're going to go ahead and start making our first hole and that's going to be the hole for the 5 16 bolt that holds the spring in place, that bolt right there. And uh, so the way we do this is we have two nuts on either side of the bolt that we tighten down against each other to hold the bolt in place and keep it nice and stable. We're going to use a 7 8 inch spade bit, and we've got it taped about a quarter of an inch up, so we only go down a quarter of an inch. And that'll allow us to countersink a hole, and then we're using our 5 16 spiral bit so we can put our uh, bolt in the wood. And we're getting everything set up. This is our pattern we drew on the computer. And we're going to use that pattern to cut out different angles. We're going to use a, uh, a small 3 seconds bit to drill pilot holes, which makes it easier to drill our larger holes with the 5 16 bit, which is the, uh, the size of the bolt that we'll actually have there. So the pilot holes help us to guide that larger bit into the uh, correct location. Okay, so now we're going to drill the center hole. We're going to use a... 7 8 drill bit that's a spade bit we've got it taped a quarter of an inch up and that'll allow a recess for both our our top nut and our washer to sit in and then we'll use our 5 16 uh, spiral bit to finish off the hole now we're going to drill our countersunk holes these are the holes that go in the bottom piece and allow the washer and nut and bolt protruding from the top through the bottom of the top to sit inside of the bottom board so we're just marking the center points for all of those uh different different bolts 
and we're going to use a one inch spade bit and we'll go down about an eighth of an inch with that one inch, one eighth inch spade bit. We're taping that off about an eighth of an inch and then we're using a five eighths inch spade bit to go down the rest of the way, uh, which is about a half of an inch and that'll uh, leave enough space for the uh, washer in the end of the bolt. So there's the uh, five eighths inch spade bit going the rest of the way and make sure you do the, uh, the smaller spade bit second. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and set in our hinges. They're measured about an inch in from the edge. They're about two, two and a half inch uh, long hinges. So we've lined everything up with the aluminum, clamped it down, uh, lining the, uh, the hinges up, and then we're just marking the centers. And now we're going to take a sixteenth of an inch drill bit and tape it about a half inch up. And uh, so we've got the holes and we're going to drill our, put our screws in, not going in all the way just yet, but most of the way. And then we're going to mark the other side and put the holes in for that. And now we're going to put our screws in on that side, and then we'll go through and we'll tighten all of them down the rest of the way. All right, so now we're going to cut the angle portion, the, the part that has the arc of holes that allows us to set the different degrees of, of angle. So we are just using our aluminum as a fence. We're marking our, our part there. This is the last cut we have to make on it. It's five inches square. So we'll take our circular saw and trim that off. All right, now we've got our piece. We're just gonna file that off very quickly to clean up the edges. And now we're gonna tape a pattern that we printed from the computer and use our 3 seconds inch bit to create our spiral, our, our uh, pilot holes. So we'll put our pilot holes in that. And now we'll use our 5 16 inch bit to uh, finish off the holes, make them the, the, the full size. All right, so that's our the part that we just made. We're getting it lined up and centered, and we're going to mark it uh, to, to line it up with our, our device, and we're marking it so that uh, we can put our screws in about an eighth, uh, three eighths of an inch up from the very bottom of the device. That means that the screws will be in the center of the bottom board we're screwing into, and we're using a sixteenth inch drill bit, and we're spacing those holes about an inch and a quarter apart. We're going to use some inch and a half long panhead wood screws to hold the... Uh, to hold the angle piece in place. So we're just drilling those holes and putting those wood screws in right now, tightening it all down, and then we'll check to make sure that uh, it all uh, fits right and moves, and it does. Okay, so now we're gonna cut our, our angle bar, or launcher bar, I should say, and uh, we're just using a hacksaw that's measured at 11 inches, so it sits inside the edge from um, either side, about a half an inch. We're cleaning it up with a file there. Now we're going to mark our center and drill our center. We're going to, again going to use a 3 seconds inch bit to create that pilot hole. And then we'll take the bar down and we're going to line it up with the pieces that we want to bolt onto the bar. And so we've got our PVC there and our uh, eye screw for the spring. So we're going to drill the holes for those two components. All right, so we're drilling our pilot holes in the aluminum bar that's going to launch the uh, ping pong ball. And that's a 3 seconds bit there. Now that we have our pilot holes, we can put the larger holes in place for our eye screw and for the machine screw that's going to hold the PVC cradle in place. Now we're making our PVC cradle. We're just going to cut it in half using a, a clamp and a hacksaw. And in order to get it just right, we need to sort of reposition it there. Now the uh, hacksaw leaves a rough edge, so we'll clean that edge up with a uh, break-off blade knife. You want to be careful doing that so you don't cut yourself. And then we'll use a, uh, a file to just smooth off the edges the rest of the way. We'll mark the center about 3 eighths of an inch up and drill a pilot hole and then our final hole. Now we're going to assemble all the different components. We're inserting washers and then nuts on the top, washers, lock washers and nuts on the bottom for the... Uh, the bolt holding the spring in and now we're going to put our eye screw in and then we're going to insert the uh, the center pivot screw and that's got two nylon washers and then two washers and two nuts and a lock washer on it so we can tighten that down that holds the bolt in place but still allows the uh, aluminum to spin freely you can see there now we're going to put our stop in place and that's just a, a another 5 16 bolt with some nylon washers around it and we've got a uh, PVC cradle that we've trimmed out there for our machine screw because it's got a flanged head and we're tightening that down now. So we'll use our wrench to hold that in place and a screwdriver to tighten that up. So we've got our cradle 
uh, ready to go. So now we're going to take the spring and try and attach it using our uh, needle nose pliers to the eye screw. And uh, then we're going to take our launcher and take it outside and do some tests. We did a number of tests with it. And we found that some of the time the ball would curve to the left. And so uh, we're going to make some design modifications in our next video.